At an earlier time, I sat down with the one, the only Jules Weinstein. And today I share this never before aired chat with the one and only Jules Weinstein. We talk about Roni past, talk about Roni future. My, my, how things have changed. But stay tuned, sit back. Today we are joined from a never before from the vault, never before heard chat with the one and only Miss Jules Weinstein. So you know what, Jules? That means you too. One season count. <laughs> so if you, if you were and literally the first one, you they went to Turks and Caicos. The second one, they're at Bluestone Manor. There's probably going to be a really third one. yes. They went to Dorinda's. The second one, they went to Dorinda's. It was Vicky and Tamara from the OC. Taylor Armstrong uh-huh. from Beverly Hills. I don't know if you know her, like Phaedra. Pro- so yes, they were at Dorinda's. It's not aired yet, but it's coming up. It's all ex housewives, like eight of them. So, you know, eventually they're going to run out of ex-housewives. They go down the list, I'm sure. That means you might be getting a call. They might even do an ex-girls trip one season wonders, Jules. This is possible. This isn't like in my head. This is really likely possible at some point to happen. So are you excited if you get a call to go on Ultimate Girls Trip? Well, who picks them? I believe they make a call and they see who's interested and then they come with the cast from there. But I, the producers, Andy is involved. I will have to think about it. And if I get called, I'll have to run it by you first. You're my manager. <laughs> I just want, listen, I don't even, most people want 20%. I will be happy with like 10%. How's that? Don't I'm negotiate. Do not negotiate directly. Send them to me. I will get you a little more money. Okay. I it. won't, I won't call Paul. I'll call you. Call me. Is there anyone, (laughs) if you had to go on it with one New York housewife, like past or present, is there anyone you really, who would you like to not go on it with the most? Because they pick, they're going to pick someone else from New York. Oh, I love Kelly. I call her Kelly Korean Ben Simone. Kelly Korean. I love, I know her in person. She is not like what you think she is. She is amazing. She's so cool. I would love to go with her. I mean, I would love to go with Dorinda, but she already was on, right? She was already on Kelly. I I have had Kelly on this show. I fucking love Kelly. I don't understand. She, I, I don't get why she gets it, all the hate. I, I don't get it. Because of Bethany. Hello. Um, that is know, why. She's awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. She's so cool. I love her. I've hung out with her many, many times. Many nights. Here's my thing about Kelly. She is authentically herself. That's all I care about. So like... Mm -hmm. she's there's no angle when you ask her like she's very authentic but yes I do think it's because of Bethany and Bethany enthusiasts are not over this whole thing between Kelly and Bethany Mm -hmm. I mean Bethany's over it let's move on yeah and she's chic and she can dress and she has great taste she's fun drop dead gorgeous drop dead gorgeous yes do you yeah. run into like you never run it because all they're all down there. I mean, mostly in West Palm, but you never run into like Ramona, Luann. Ramona's like living in Florida these days, basically until it gets warm. You never see them. Yeah, um, I haven't seen Ramona. Jill Zarin, I, uh, hi, uh, Jill Zarin. I've seen uh, Kelly comes to the Boca Beach Club. Um, uh, what's her call? Um, is, what's her name from Tinsley? New Jersey? Siggy. Siggy, Siggy. Siggy's down there, yeah. She lives she lives two blocks away from me, my neighborhood. Um Tinsley, no, I don't go to Palm Beach. I'm not I'm kind of allergic. I can't deal. It's, it's like a bubble. It's really it is. It's not normal there. Um <laughs> it's like you drive I live 20 minutes away. Like you drive there and like people dress, they talk different. It's it's like they is it, like the guys wear khaki pants with whales on them. I can't, I can't. It's like part Hamptons, part Newport, Rhode Island kind of. Yes, together. Greenwich, Connecticut, but worse. I, I don't mind. I mean, it's pretty. Speaking of guys with whales on their pants, which apparently you don't like, thinking of your <laughs> d- divorce being final. I mean, tell us, Jules, like. What is the situation? Anyone? I mean, you're going to fix me up. You found my future husband. Anyone special uh-huh. in your life? Like, should I be looking for you? What's going on with your dating scene? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Um, there is someone. Um, I don't know what to call him yet, but but I I really like him. Um, his name is Ken, <laughs> um, but I uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know what the situation is right now. He lives down there in Florida. He lives down here in Boca. Um, he has two beautiful uh, daughters. We're kind of serious. I don't know, but but I don't know what to call him yet. That's listen. You don't. It was my first the one. the first guy I've, I've uh, been with since uh, my divorce. Where did you meet him? We met through a friend, which is his neighbor, um, in like September. And this is the first guy I've dated since uh, 2016. Like since my like my marriage was over. It took me that long. September to now. That's pretty good. That's a pretty decent amount of time. I mean, you know, it's like not 10 years, months. but that's pretty good. Yes. Like, see, listen, is it? At, <laughs> at this rate, honey, I just want to get past the second date and still be like, I'm in it. <laughs> like first date are, are is like, dating? no, I mean, I, I go on dates, but like, man, people are just, I don't know what the word is. Like figure it out. Are you like, on those apps? Are you on the apps? I'm on enough apps. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> mama has to I'm get out somehow. Apps. Right. I think you need to be set up like by I a think so. because, yes. because they know your personality, they know his personality, and then it's the good match. Like these apps, I would never, I can't, I wouldn't do it. No, but also, and you know, then you meet someone, you have like nothing to talk about and I could talk to anyone, but like, you just meet them and you're like, what is there to say? And I, you know what yeah. I find people don't realize dating should be fun. Like we don't need to get married on like, just let's have fun. I mean, you know, let's lead to that, but you go on right. these dates and everyone's like, let's everything hang out. And you're like, Ugh. you know, they're like, Awkward. right. Like, well, I have to cancel because like, you don't have to like the backstory. This is too much for a second date. Like, yes. Like, no, I think I'm too easy to but, talk to. Sometimes people just let it all hang out. And I'm like, you have Ugh. a good vibe. Like, I mean, I feel very comfortable with you, but like, do you go for a drink? You don't go for a full dinner, right? No. Oh my God. No. First date is. And that's the other thing. I'm starting to meet all these people, which no, like, you know, Luann now, like everyone who is in recovery, like I give, it's not an easy thing, but like I, I drink. So when you don't want to drink on the first day and I'm not even, meeting, I'm not even meet, meeting people that like are in recovery. They're just like, well, I don't really drink that much. I'm like, I don't know what to do now with you. Like, I don't want to go for yeah. a walk on a first date. I want to go for a drink. That is a normal first date. And like, Again, yes. if anyone doesn't drink and shouldn't drink, fine. That's fine. But I'm meaning people that aren't even that. They're just people that are like, well, if I have this one, literally, it's a true story. The other day, someone's like, well, if I have one drink, I get so drunk. And like, I'm like, oh, like. That's too much information. Right. Well, what about coffee? Can you do coffee with somebody? I like, that's could. Short, or- I mean, that's where my life is headed now. But never, <laughs> never a dinner. Oh, my God. A dinner on a first date is never. Zero. No, zero that's, percent chance that's because it's two hours and what if too you don't much. like this person and it's yeah. so awkward to like just uh like you order and i listen <laughs> i'm not even a snob but then it's another thing like you just want this and no appetizer like i'm like let's just chill let's have another drink let's have a bottle of wine let's share an appetizer let's do it. like i just like people yeah. are so boring and rigid i i find that's really what i find yeah i think that you need to be set up I think so. By a friend. Just like, I'll set you up. Okay. Well, you're, we're going to do this I need after. To set, yeah. I'm going to set you up with um maybe someone in New York too. I'll take, listen, New York, LA, and like Boca. I mean, I know Siggy very well. Siggy knows me very well. Like the Boca, Miami area, Florida, or LA, or New York. Those are, those are the keys. But you go to LA often because Nick yep. I think it would be a great match for you and, and even, even more now even more now and I go for like periods of time because I used to go and be like I'm here for four days and then people are like what I can't see you I just go now and I'm like I'm here for like a month so I'm not, I'm not worried about oh. it we we can like blow each other off on Tuesday I can see you on Thursday like let's say I'm not stressed yeah it's just I know so many people there and like for this job it's just like and I can do this job for anywhere. So I go, I go. And I, I like LA. I mean, I don't drive, nor will I ever drive. No interest. In the summer, <laughs> I'm usually in the Hamptons. I know I slighted the Hamptons before, but I, I mean, look, you know, the Hamptons, you had a house that was never finished. Bethany had issues with right. your house. The Hamptons mm-hmm. is kind of fun. 